Okay, and welcome back students taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we're continuing on with the chapter 11 summary practice test. And we were, we did one and two. So let's jump over to number three here. Okay. All right, it says on July 14th, Gracie Paul accepted a $60,000 um, 6% 160-day note from Mike Lang. So that's principal or face value rate time on November 12th. Okay, so from July 14th to November 12th, Gracie discounted the note, so discounted, at Len Bank at 7%. So that's the new rate. What proceeds did Gracie receive? Okay, so uh, same exact thing that we've been doing all along, okay? Interest is equal to face value times rate times time, and maturity value is equal to face value plus interest. So we need to first figure out how much interest is on the original note of 60000 times 0 0.06, that's 6%. Times 160 day note over 360. And when we do the math of 60,000 times 0 0.06 times 160, and we divide that by 360 days, we end up with $1,600 in interest. And we add that to the $60,000 uh, note. So that's $61,600 as the maturity value. Okay, the next thing is, is to, um, now remember, let's draw it out here. Okay, so we had July 14th. Um, so that's for 160 days. And on November 12th, on November 12th, that's going to be discounted. So we need to know the amount of time and how much it's going to be discounted, how many days it's discounted. Okay, so jump back up to our chart here. And we have uh, July 14th, July. 14th is 195 days and we have to go to November 12th which is 316 so 316 less 195 that's 1 2 1 that's 121 days um, that were used remember the 121 days So this portion of time is 121 days. So 160 less 121 is 39 days for a discount period, right? So now um, we have the, uh, the bank is discounting the note. So we're starting out with the 61,600 and they're discounting it at 7%, so 0 0.07 times our discounted period of 39 days over 360. And that's going to give us interest of 467.13. And we take the 61,600 and subtract the 467.13 that was uh, discounted and we end up with proceeds of 61,132.87. Okay. So in looking at this problem, all right, number one, we figured out the maturity value. Number two, we figured out the discount period. Number three, we figured out the amount of the discount. And number four, we figured out the uh, the proceeds. Okay, 
problem number four. We accepted a $70,000 note at three, six and three quarter percent, 120 day note on July 26th. We discounted the note on October 28th at LB Bank at 6%. What proceeds did we receive? Exactly the same thing as the previous problem. Exactly. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go through it here. Future value times rate times time. Maturity value is equal to uh, face value times interest. So number one, right, well, let me do this. Number one, we're looking for the maturity value. Okay, so we take the 70,000 times six and three quarter percent interest times 120 days over 360, which if we do the math, 70,000 times 0 0.0675, that's 0 0.0675. That's the decimal equivalent of the six and three quarter percent times 120. And then what we get for that answer, we're dividing by 360. And we end up with interest of 1575. And we add that to the 70,000 to get our maturity value of 71,575. Okay, that's number one. Okay, number two is we need the number of days, the discount period, right? So we started out here on July 26th, and this goes for 120 days. But on October 28th, so that's 1028. Um, it's going to be discounted. So we need to know how many days for this period in order to know how many days have elapsed so we can figure out how many days were in the discount period. So let's go back up to the chart, to the Julian calendar. And we start out with July 26, which is 238. Oh, I'm sorry. 207 and we go to October 28th which is 301 so I take 301 less 207 and that gives 94 days had elapsed during that period so remember the 94 and Okay, so over here, you know, 94 days have elapsed, so we take the 120 less 94, and that gives us 26 days for the discount period. Okay, that's number two, 26 days. Okay, number three, we need to figure out the discount amount. Okay, so we're taking the amount of the note, and the face value here of 71,000, 575 times the new uh, discount amount, a new discount rate of 6%. And this time it's only for 26 days because that's the amount of days that's being discounted over 360. And when we do the math by multiplying 71,575 times 6% times 26 days, and we divide that all by 360, we end up with 310. 16 as the discount amount and then number four in order to figure out the amount of the proceeds we take the 71 uh, take the 71 575 face value and we subtract the discount amount of 310 16 and that gives us our proceeds of 71,264 84 Okay, so number one is 71,575, number two is 26 days, number three is 310 in uh, discount amount, and number four is the proceeds of 71,264. Okay, so even though it's only asking for the proceeds, we need to calculate those others. Okay, 
Um, I'm going to keep on going here. Um, nope, actually, I'm going to stop, okay? Because this is getting into um, effective rates. So I'm going to stop here. And I know I had said this was going to be two videos, but it ends up being three. All right, see you in the next video.